This is Fox 5 News at 10. A health alert for men tonight. Experts are advising against a certain prostate cancer screening test for healthy men. We're breaking down the controversial decision next. Now to a Fox 5 health alert and the fierce debate surrounding new prostate cancer screening recommendations. A panel of doctors who advise the government on cancer screening say doctors should no longer offer the PSA test to healthy men. Dr. Keith Kowalczyk is a urologist from MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Doctor, thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me, Laura. Give us a little more insight on what's behind this recommendation. So basically, to be blunt, uh, what's behind this recommendation is flawed analysis of a flawed study and misguided conclusions. They, they basically looked at two randomized controlled trials and based most of their, their conclusions on the American trial called the PLCO trial. Now the problem with that is that half of the screening versus non-screening trial, in the non-screening arm, 50% of those patients were still being screened and therefore there is no difference in prostate cancer specific mortality found in that trial. However, that's a major limitation to that study and it shouldn't be considered the main, uh, the main push to, to, to stop PSA screening. They largely ignored the findings in the European trials which showed that there was actually a 21 to 29 percent reduction in prostate cancer mortality uh, over time, over about 11 years or so. But they're saying that these tests could potentially cause problems with uh, incontinence and uh, impotence. Well, the tests themselves will not cause problems with incontinence and impotence. The treatment. The treatments could cause problems with incontinence and impotence. And the problem is there has to be a distinction between overdiagnosis and overtreatment. Now, I myself would rather know that I have prostate cancer and be able to have multitude of options and be able to decide with my doctor what is the best option for me. Now, incontinence and erectile dysfunction are certainly a, a side effects for many treatments. However, I think we have minimized that with new technologies. Uh, I think a patient still deserves the right to be able to know if they have prostate cancer mm -hmm. and then have the choice to be treated. As I understand it though, doctor, this does not apply to men who are in higher risk categories. Who should not, as you understand it, should not follow this recommendation when it comes to PSA screenings? Well, I, I'm, personally, I think it, nobody should follow this recommendation. Mm -hmm. um, certainly not African American men who are certainly at higher risk of prostate cancer. They should continue going, undergoing screening at age 40. Men with a family history of prostate cancer, that being with a father or brothers with prostate cancer, are extremely higher risk. So they definitely need to keep up screening. But I've started, and many urologists have started taking a baseline PSA at age 40. It's been shown that PSA is over one at age 40 can lead to an increased risk of prostate cancer. So specifically, finding these patients that are at higher risk should undergo frequent screening after that. Those patients that still have low PSAs, even in my clinical practice, I tell them that they're at lower risk and I probably would screen them less. Yeah, it's a very interesting debate. Uh, reminds me of the debate over mammography. It's very uh, similar to the debate over mammography yeah. and, uh, and, and that was actually overturned somewhat because of patient advocacy and I think that's what we need right now. Well, I would imagine that people will continue to talk about this very controversial subject. Dr. Keith Kowalczyk, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.